What the world needs is to grow a lot more food because of growing populations and increased demand. But it has to do that without competing for agricultural land. And preferably it has to be sustainable too, where we remove carbon from the atmosphere. We produce algae as a human food source and as a form of carbon sequestration. The Transform Food Production Programme is a 90 million fund that runs until the end of March 2024. The fund is really about supporting the agriculture sector to develop more efficient, resilient and sustainable ways of producing food. We've got a strong theme around net zero and how we can try and drive sustainability across the agri-food sector to realise net zero ambitions by 2040. According to the IPCC, who are recognised as one of the leading authorities on these matters, we need to remove 10 gigatons of carbon from the atmosphere every year. That's 10 billion tonnes. Uh, that's in addition to substantially reducing our emissions, so things like uh, electrification of transport, new ways of manufacturing, new ways of farming. That 10 gigatons of removal per year is the equivalent of a half a trillion dollar new industry. So what's unique about what we've developed at Brilliant Planet is we're working with nature to remove carbon from the atmosphere in a way that can be demonstrated as permanent, is hugely scalable and is uniquely affordable. Our site is in a remote, non-arable coastal desert land. We draw in seawater from about two to three kilometers offshore and the algal bloom that occurs in the ocean, we recreate that on land. Our next phase of development is for a 30 hectare site where we intend to explore the benefits of this production method of algae. Currently, we're developing a program that utilizes the power of AI to develop real-time insights into the growing process of algae. This will enable us to prepare a system that is more tailored to the needs of the algae, thereby increasing the overall yield. What we notice with a lot of our funding is it allows people to form collaborative partnerships. And this often allows businesses to work with the UK's world-leading science base and specifically in this project that Brilliant Planet are leading, they're working with some of the best UK academics, for example, at the University of Southampton, but they're also utilising capabilities up in Scotland through the Scottish Association for Marine Sciences. And this is really um, game-changing for them in terms of how they can model the systems that they're producing algae in and really optimise those to take um, production systems forward for more efficiency, greater productivity we're actually starting to see real-life solutions to some of the most pressing issues of the day. So climate change and the way in which we need to try and mitigate against that, but also get more sustainable ways in which we can feed humans and a growing population is really fantastic in terms of what's coming out of this project. On the one hand, that's a daunting task, yes. Uh, on the other hand, it's a once-in-a-generation opportunity for whoever can provide the right solution or solutions. Uh, for us, uh, UK research and innovations uh, support has been very valuable in developing what we now believe is a truly comprehensive, truly scalable, uh, truly global solution to this issue. For us as a company now, the, the only step left is to go ahead and build it.